Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Master Nightfall, which is the Glassway. I'm doing it on Bottom Tree Dawnblade. Uh, I'm using Hung Jury with Explosive Rounds. I'm using Nation of Beasts with Explosive Rounds. Anarchy on my Bond. I have Breaching Clear. As you can see here, I've got High Energy Fire and Scavenger mods. Protect, protective Light. Elemental Ordnance and Elemental Charge, which basically means if I pick up a, a Elemental Well, I'll get two Charge for Light, which will then help with my high energy fire and my protective light. I'm using Dawn Chorus as my exotic. That improves my daybreak uh, projectiles and does more damage when the, when the burn hits the, the actual enemy. And the reason I went for Bottom Tree on Dawnblade is because I can use Phoenix Dive, which has very little cooldown, two to two, three seconds, I believe. And basically that will give me about 50% of my health back. So, as you can see there, quite quite frustrated with myself because of that bad spiral driving, but I don't think I would be remiss to say this is probably the most difficult Nightfall. The reason why is because the Nightfall itself is not very difficult. It's the boss fight. So, the modifiers for this kind of eat into that. So, you take increased void and aerial damage. This week's modifier, as you can see there, is attrition, so you'll drop little fonts of light, which will... Uh, give you health back you you have very low health regeneration without that in fact it takes 20 10 10 15 seconds for your health to start coming back maybe even longer so you really don't get you really have to be careful if you take any damage if you can't self-generate so i have my well and also i have phoenix dive have to be careful with phoenix dive though because aerial damage is increased so when i jump up in the air i am more vulnerable so that's that's kind of the setup. You can always go back and pause at that part and have a look. See that that's what Phoenix Dive does for you. You can always have a look and, and go through in more detail yourself what I'm using. Let's talk about the enemies. So you've got Overload and you have Barrier. Now the Overload, the Barrier, sorry, very simple. You do a set amount of damage to them. They put the Barrier up, you break it, they're stunned, and then you melt them. That's basically how that works. Overloads, however... There, there is kind of a, they're, they're, they are pretty annoying, uh, but there, there is a, a kind of way to take them down. And I'm going to show you here. So what you're going to want to do, I'm using hand cannons, my, my overload. I'm just going to put a grenade, hopefully, over onto those ads. Uh, I'm using overload hand cannon. You might use SMG. So I'm going to hit them a couple of times. Explosive rounds means I'll stop them faster. I'll put one here in case I get pushed. Now what I'm going to do is shoot him until it looks like he got staggered again. It kind of looks like he's tripping forward. Kind of bends over. The, the, at the end, the Minotaurs will do the same. They have a mechanic where they kind of looks like they've stumbled. If you do not keep shooting them with your overload weapon, they will regenerate and then they become a nightmare. If you stun them and when, when, when they're in their kind of shiny head phase, because the back, the tendrils on the back of the neck light up, suggesting you can't stun them again. You can. It just, it just stops them regenerating. Your double anarchy shot will kill them. So you want to put anarchy on. Obviously, I've got breach and clear on. I know I've got the two anarchy when I start doing nine thousand damage. So that's that's kind of what you want to look at with the overload. You want to see that nine thousand numbers coming off them, and then just keep shooting them with your overload weapon until you see them kind of lurch. Uh, it's like they're holding our stomach, they kind of go, ooh, excuse the sound effect. Uh, then you can just leave them. If you don't do that, they will regenerate their health. So you've seen in that last area how I attacked that. I cleared the first set of ads, uh, took out the overload, and then you will get a barrier. Well, here, in this area, you're going to start off with an overload and the boss. So what we're doing, you see there, I've got the stun on him. I'm just going to get a couple of shots on, on him, and then I just aimed past him. See there? I got I got him to lurch. And 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 that's him dead. Now, the minotaurs are a little bit kind of tricky with the lurch. They don't always do it. You know, nine out of ten of them will, but the rest of them won't. I I attack this area from this position. Once I've took down the overload, I take out the sniper up on the right sh the shelf that you see me take, and the one just past the boss. So what I'm going to do here is just, you can be kind of liberal. I know some people don't like the anarchy. Oh, I don't have it. Or oh, can you do it with a toothpick and a sandwich? Uh, 
for this one, I felt totally justified using it because this is like a pro this is like a proper challenge for a Master Nightfall. This is as hard. This Master, I think, the ads go down easier, but the difficulty with the modifier is obviously attrition. Uh, man, togetherness would have just been a nightmare here. Uh, with the modifiers, uh, th this is as difficult as some grandmasters. So, I don't know if I've already said it, but I'll say it again if I haven't. Try not, as best you can, especially when you get to the bo boss room, try not to jump when you're close to the adds, because you take increased damage when you're in the air, and you take increased void damage. And the crazy thing about the strike is, the first 75% of the strike has fallen with very little void. And then at the end, that's where all the difficulty is. It's all, it, all the heavy hitters do void. And you've got the chickens, or the go-go dancers, I like to call them. So the first two sections, we've got a place where we attack from. Uh, we clear out as many of the adds and a champion as possible. Then you'll get a, a secondary barrier after you basically took out the first champion. And then... It's, it's area-based, so when you push to a certain area, I believe, if you push up so far, you will get the second champion. I think it's no different here, which is why I stay around here. Plus, this boss has a, a, free, a freeze mechanic. Now, whereas you can dodge the freeze mechanic, it involves maybe having to sometimes jump. Bit tricky. I wouldn't suggest it. But also, it gets you to move... It slows you and gets you to move out of cover. So what I try and do here, you see me try to bait the ads. I took the first wave, little wave of ads, couple of shanks, couple of snipers that were over on the far shelf. Then I wait. There, there is a certain point where you will get uh, some shanks coming here. I wait until I'm just going to put another one on him. I wait until I've killed the first two or three shanks and then I shoot the floor trying to bait the next wave of shanks. Once you've cleared these few shanks here, right, the overload will push up a little bit more and you can take him out. Then we're just going to kind of stay at this rock and we're going to take out the big boy. Now you see there, I've got 9,000 damage. What's well, 8,000 now because he's walked away from where the one I planted on the floor is. I'll just take out... Any of the little snipers that are around, I think that was it. Don't really want to push too far because I don't want this barrier coming and just making life really difficult for us. I want this champion down. If, if like that, he pushes you, you see there, I, all I had to do was step forward in front of that rock and we got the next wave. All I had to do... Uh, uh, well, sorry, if, if, the, if that boss throws his froze freeze attack... It's like it's like his grenade. I don't even I don't even know what the grenade's called because because I'm I'm that way inclined. I I, I just don't use stasis. I, I tried it in this nightfall actually. I had a go at it because I'd done this yesterday. I actually done this Wednesday on stream. But I couldn't get the footage, so I had to rerun it. So that anybody that says the strategy doesn't work, dude. It does. I've done it live on stream and then I've done it again here. So like any nightfall, there is no, unless you're using a cheese, and I've got nothing personally against cheeses, I have no problem with showing people areas where you can, you know, you can defend. I've got no problem with that. And anybody that does, you know, a cheese is different. A cheese is when you break the mechanics of the game, right? So, so you cannot take any damage, but you can deal tons of damage. I don't really like those. But if you're showing people an easy way to do stuff, uh, then uh, why not? People people want to see that. They want to see the, the 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 most efficient way to beat something. I try and put out stuff. No disrespect to anybody that puts anything else out. I just try and put stuff out where I show you the mechanics of how to actually how an actual thing works and how to use stuff that doesn't involve too much abilities. You know, more so weapons and strategy on how to beat that thing. But I got nothing against. Uh, any other any other strategies but as you've seen with that when that barrier sorry when that barrier came out at the champion what i done was i used that rock the minute you can take the barrier down take them down you know pick off ads 
when you get there, but take the barrier as soon as you can, and that frees up just the ability to keep shooting the ants. As you probably noticed, there's been very little void damage for us to contend with. There is, there is hardly any void damage, and then when you get to the boss, it's just overpowered, which is why I went with void and uh, void damage resist and concussive damage. So when you get to this area, as you see, there's like a couple of waves, four waves of shanks that I take out. Sometimes you get, sometimes you will get them, sometimes you don't get them. I didn't get them here. I didn't get the wave of uh, a little fallen. That their names just completely disappeared from my head. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get those. Uh, I, you, sometimes you come here, you get the shanks, you get the the vandals and the dreg. I knew their name would come back. I'm so bad sometimes with names. The dreg. Sometimes you don't get the dreg. We didn't get the dreg here, so we went straight from the four waves of of shanks to the vandals. Once I get to here, you see that overload. We do the same thing with every overload. I'm using a hand cannon for it. If you're using an SMG, it doesn't, it's no different. If you're using the SMG, uh, you're going to keep shooting the overload until he kind of, until you stun him. Then you'll put a couple of anarchy on him and then you'll start hitting him again. And after like one or two seconds of continuous hitting, he will, he will lurch forward, which means now he won't regenerate and he will start taking max damage from your from your anarchy shots. We'll see here, we'll see if we can get him again. Watch out for the snipers just behind. So so we hit, we hit, we hit. And there we go, we got the lurch. Now, sometimes, especially with that one, I wasn't really looking for a lurch. I was looking to put consistent damage on him for a couple of seconds. Just so I knew that he would, that the, the anarchy would kill him. So, let, let's let's talk about what we've already done because it's quite a fast run to the boss. The boss took me a while for this run. Not because the boss itself is super, super tricky. Which it is, but that's not why it took me so long. One barrier just would not play ball. He basically held the hand of the boss and was right, right in almost in his shield for most of it. I couldn't get him to move. And that took me, I, I think, well you'll see in the video, I think it took me like, four and a half, five minutes just to get him isolated and I ran out of heavy and didn't realise I actually had heavy and when I did, when I realised I picked up heavy, that's when I killed him. So the main areas moving up to the boss was, is this area, but before this, the area where you've got the sniper uh, fallen boss that throws the threes bo freeze bombs at you. All the rest of it, if you stand where I was standing, move to where I moved, shoot the ads the way that I was shooting them. Uh, don't put yourself in compromising positions for the kill. Make the kill come to you. Be prepared. There are times where you need to go and kind of spawn trap and, you know, kill them efficiently. But you also need to know when it's not time to do that. So a lot of this is waiting for the ads to, to walk into your ambush, into your line of sights. Keep the cover. Don't compromise your cover for the kill. Now, as you can see here, I haven't left the sh the, the, the the plate. I leave it to start with because you do get kind of st a staggered wave. And then after that, it's literally kill. I think you get like six, six shanks from the left, from the right, sorry, six from the left. And then again, and then it's two explorers from the right, two explorers from the left. I... As I said before, I said at the start, I'm using Hung Jury and also I'm using uh, Nation of Beasts, both with explosive rounds. A, because explosive rounds stops overloads uh, really quickly, a lot quicker than a hand cannon that isn't using them. And secondly, you just deal a whole more da load up damage to, to adds in general. So I moved off the plate here, just so you know what I'm doing. I moved off the plate to entice the champion just a little bit closer to me. So you see there, I got the nine. And there's the lurch. I actually seen it there on the video. Kinda staggers forward a little bit. Now, that's this first wave of ads. So I'm just gonna go look and see if there's any primary. There we go. I'm gonna move up here and this gets the the second wave. There's like three main waves of ads in here. So this is what second wave. The first wave was the wave we walked into. Which is just like 
your shanks and then a ch then a champion and some some drag second wave as uh, a giant kind of ultra sh shank uh and and these they, there he is there sometimes i throw this grenade i'm still not very good at throwing those solar grenades not as good as the void i'm much better throwing void grenades for some reason they do seem to have a different trajectory and maybe they don't maybe i'm just used to holding charge and then throw so i'm just standing here i'm trying to pick them off i have got my super and when i've picked off everything i feel like i can pick then i'll pop my super and i'll just there'll always be a bunch of them over there but it's this guy once we get him down then we can start picking off little lads if you see if you see a, a well of light on the floor run through it because you do get a damage resistance in your super but you're not invulnerable you can get hit you can die but if you've got one of those uh if you've got a well of light just run over it ensure that you're gonna get the health back you see there what i've done is i've pushed up to the, the this is my cover spot right here for here for this i'm, I'm gonna take out the snipers and the shanks because they, they can be really annoying and there's gonna be a heap of enemies but as you can see because i've pushed up took out that fallen saber it's not fallen saber but you know what I mean? T take out that massive shank. Uh, he's like Fallen Saber, like boss. I think it was the first time we'd ever seen a giant shank was that Fallen Saber. Uh, once I've pushed up to where I took him, the barrier champion's going to come out. Now, I'm not going to force the kill with the barrier. I want the barrier to move right around here. And there we should be able to kill him. Maybe if he moves away, he might get away. Now, for some reason, hopefully he puts his shield back up. For some reason, even though I put... And this this is something that, that I can't really explain. Uh, be careful of the snipers up top. I took the ones out, out over on the right. But once you take out a certain amount of ads, the, the snipers up top, you push forward... They will then push away and they'll push to the back over there. Uh, whenever whenever you're in a static position and you're, you're dealing damage to adds, make sure you put your, your well down. Don't try and save it for another area. And make sure you've got decent recovery. As I say, go back to the start of the video, see what stats I'm running with. You want to be able to get your rift back as quickly as you humanly can without compromising uh, resilience or whatever else that I, I would I would have a decent amount of resilience six minimum for this uh, I think I've just got under six actually but I would recommend that don't compromise any of your other stats just which kind of raises the question what you should be looking for is spiked armor armor that's like you you know if you get armor with high 20s and maybe two things that are things that you would use resilience recovery intellect mobility whatever keep them because spiked armor is what it's all about so now what we're doing we've got the stop on him again so because what happened there was i actually put anarchy on him before it stopped them so we took out the barrier chant the, the overload once you come down here that this will start this mission off proper i'm going to show you where my starting position for most of these things most of these waves are going to be so the waves kind of work like this. You see that little hydra. You've got little hydra and you've got the big boss hydra. First wave, little hydra, four, uh, uh, two overloads to start with. And then you'll have two more once you make him disappear. So that's the wave that we're doing now. Within this wave, you've also got goblins. Normal goblins. Just normal goblins. There they are. So I am up top here. What this allows me to do is if I crouch and back away, I'm a really difficult target. So this first wave, you see how much damage Super has done to the big boy. What that has done now is we now have all four overloads. With the overloads, I don't, I, I, it's not a problem having all four of them at the same time. Now, we are going to do this thing. I'm not going to go hunting him. I knew that it was going to be an overload, which is why I didn't shoot that goblin, because it would have stopped him around the corner. 
Now you might get to see here this guy lurching. He didn't. He didn't actually lurch where you couldn't see it anyway. Um, you will see it because I, I, I watch for it in my runs. The other thing, this, this, you see, there was no ads there. There was no ads in my, my, my immediate eye line. Nobody was going to be shooting me. So I, I decided to get my Phoenix dive on there. I'm just like periodically taking out, taking out any ads that come in here. And there's another overload. So, and you might see him lurch here. There he is. See that? It's like, it's like someone shoved them. If, when you're in this position, you see something over, you see on the mini-map there, there's, there's like a red line over at the far side. That will 100% be an overload. So, even though he's, he's, he's like Kobe and shots over at me, I'm still not going to push him, and I'm still not going to put my rift down. Because, 90% of the time this will happen. You will, you will do that. So let's see if we can get him to lurch. There he is. There's the lurch. As long as you get him to do that shoulder turn, it's like, as I say, like he's got shoved. As long as you get him to do that, he will die from the anarchy. So as you can see now, I have pushed because I can stop him. Explosive rounds, stop him with three shots. And then what I want to do here. Now, it never worked here. And I'll explain why, because I think you need to know why. The reason it never worked there it happens sometimes, and you need to be aware that this happens sometimes. Explosive rounds every now and again, and as you can see, we've been doing this, and that's the first time it's happened. Now, I'll put two on them, and I'm going to feather these shots. You'll see them lurch. There he goes. Every now and again, the explosive rounds will actually destroy the anarchy bolts. And the reason I knew that had happened, which is why I ran, is because the damage went from 9,449 or whatever it is, 9,000 and odds, to 4,000. So the damage number tells you what you've got on them as well. It's, it's interesting to use this. So, that's all the overloads. That's the four overloads done. My next wave is going to be the chickens. What's going to happen is... So when this big boy's full health bar is gone, so we'll just make sure we've got enough shots on him. Now sometimes, I don't know what it is, sometimes he gets marked. So there, he's, 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 we've put a couple on him. I might have to come back and, and readdress him. I might not. I don't think I do for this one. There you go, uh, Belmont's on, he, on, he, on his bike. Sometimes he takes the mark. The debuff, but he doesn't actually take the damage. So what I'm doing now, because we know we're going to get chickens, is what I've done is I've uh, I preempted and I put I put uh, an anarchy shot down on the ground in front of the portal because we'll get two of the those guys. I put an anarchy shot down in front of the portal, and I waited for the first chicken to come out, and I put an anarchy shot on on the chicken. Now what I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to pop my super. There's, pop my super, and as you can see, you'll be able to see there what I've done. Popped my super, and then I started looking for the chicken. Right, I'm going to put my, put my rift down. Now what happened there, almost died there, and it wasn't through anything else other than I tried to put my rift down and backed up the, up at the side and walked up a little bit of the ledge. And never got my never got the rift down. So now the second lot of chickens will come to me. If you're on the ground and you go hunting those chickens, man, it's such a bad day. But you still have to be really aware because we know we've got one more, and sometimes these things can can really really give you a bad time. So I know I've got heavy. I'm going to need to keep heavy. I'm going to need to make sure that it's heavy city down there. Because really with a hand cannon, 
and a scout rifle, we aren't prepared to take down this other chicken with anything other than we're heavy. But here, here's here's the here's the thing. I know I'm getting I'm getting markers on both sides of my map, so one of them is the chicken. I know the boss is up here. I'll just get this heavy. Barriers as well, because this wave you get barriers. Now what what's going to happen is eventually, there he is. The chicken is going to come into play. And two anarchy put on the, 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 the two anarchy put on the wyvern's enough to kill him. Now you're wyvern free, but that was the easy set of wyverns, right? So now what we've got, we've got four barriers out here, right? So again, roughly the same way we took the overlords out. We're going to put two on them. We're going to put two on on a champion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the champions to come to me. Because in this position that we're in, what will happen is... Get a little bit of a teleport on from one of them because they will come towards me. So we'll break his, this one shield. And then I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put one on. Not got a ton of of anarchy, but as you can see, one's enough. One's enough. Now the other guys are like, what's going on up here? What happened to my mate? And your mate just got sauced. They're coming up. What I have noticed is, and you'll see it yourself at some point. Uh, at some point, one of them will just go nah, but no. I'll put that on him. One of them will just step out. Uh, you see, I'm taking a chance because that second one. But we don't want to waste the damage that we put on the first one. But sometimes you just need to know when you when enough's enough. Just stick another anarchy on. Make sure he dies. So we got him, we got him. Just put one more on him, and that's what you want. You want the barrier to move away, like almost like uh, come towards you. So now we want his barrier back up. I moved away there because this other one decided to come up and have a look. Don't really want to use another anarchy. And luckily we got that. Got that reload. You seen there, dropped heavy. So now I am going to use a heavy. Again, whatever you feel like you've placed. Wherever you feel like you've placed the anarchy shot, try not to shoot that area. On on the ad. Try and shoot a different area. So, what's going to happen now is we are roughly, I'd say, about halfway through this fight. Uh, this would have been a lot faster a run, you'll see for yourself. One barrier just did not play ball. So, we're back up in our little spot and we've got two, two overloads to contend with. Once we... This time, I don't think you've got the little guy. You don't have the little... Uh, the little Hydra. You don't have him, you just have the two overlords. You have some goblins, but you also have now, you have exploders, so we've got those to worry about now. Luckily for us, the exploders don't really push in here too much. So, again, all we're doing is, see there, there's your overlord, and you might, again, as, as I've said, we see the lurch. There's the lurch. Can leave him to die now. As we've already seen in this run, uh, that's as far as the explodes. Normally they don't push in here. Normally the explodes never come in here, but that's about as far as they'll come in. And normally, if they don't get a sight on you, they'll back away back out the door. We know that there's one there. It's an exploder. We've got a whole bunch of heavy. Thought it was going to be so cool for heavy in this run. Jeez. And we know we've got there's another overload somewhere, there's another exploder. Look at me saying they don't push in here and here they are all coming in going, what's going on in here? Uh 
We know we've got another ba another another overload. He must be up by the boss. So we'll just take out some of these guys up top. There he is, and here he comes. So enthusiastic to die. Unbelievable. Nice guy. So again, there he is. There's the lurch. You see, we, we got the lurch on him really quickly that time. Now what you've got to do is you've got to put damage on the boss. Now, sometimes the boss just kind of sets up shop over there. So you can see I've still got two bricks. I just did not I did not think I was gonna have a problem with doing damage to the boss. Uh to, to, to actually completing this. I did not think heavy would be the issue, but it was that barrier that just did not want to play ball. And I, I maybe pushed it a little bit too much trying to kill him when the boss was there. So what we're gonna do is just put two on him. Once he takes, you'll see uh You'll see a line of text come up. You see, we can see we've got two on them. We're getting 9,779. You'll see a line of text come up. There it is. Vexant reinforcements inbound. A champion has appeared. And you get that twice because we've got two overloads. And the overloads are that are going to come this time. Just put a grenade down there so we can kill some of these enemies. Again, like the barrier uh, at the end. They are just going to set up shop. They'll do it every time I've done this run. And as I've said, I first done this run on stream Wednesday. i done this run that you're watching now because I couldn't get the footage from the stream. Uh, well, I could, but it just wasn't very good quality. Uh, stream is good quality. It just I couldn't get it off the channel in a good quality for some reason. Uh, maybe because it encoded in a different format. I don't, I, I don't know. The point is, I had to run it again, and this is the reprised run. It's a little bit quicker, it was much quicker to the boss than the, the stream run. If this barrier hadn't have done what he'd done, this would have been a very quick, well, a reasonably quick run, 30 odd minutes. So, what is gonna, what's happening here is, I know what adds I've got left. I know I've got the barrier, the, the overloads, I know where they are, right? I know that they will always be up there. They will always be up by where the boss is. Right? Luckily for me, one of them decided to just... I managed to get one to come really quickly. Let's see if we can get the lurch here. There we go. Just shoulder kind of turns. You know, it's, it's like someone's hit him in his right shoulder. Uh, the other one will stay up by the boss. And all we've got to do is find him. <laughs> because he, because we, we're up on that shelf. Uh, because we're up on that shelf. He uh, he kind of goes round. So he's directly behind us. Now that I'm shooting the boss. Uh, I see there I've got, a, a, I've got a tag over on the other side. Looks like he's went all the way around. As I say, it's a hundred percent. When you get that tag over here, it's a hundred percent. We 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 got the we got him to lurch. That's why I turned and ran. So it seems like I thought I killed all the overloads, and I can't have. Cause this must be gonna just. Now I'm confused who's left. Oh no, it's just a goblin. Phew. <laughs> normally what happens is these two overloads come and stand up here and you basically, what I normally do is I stun one and then get the other one to come at me. We'll just put another anarchy. Just use this as a bit of a head glitch. And I'm already prepping for the chickens. Now this is the wave. Right now, this is the wave that will stop most runs. Because you're going to get the big boss, you're going to get the little, the big hydra, you're going to get the little hydra, and you're going to get these guys. Right? These chickens. Now, we want to kill one of them straight away and then get out of there. So one of them's dead. Exactly the same way we've done the last time. So we're going to straight up here. And we're just going to put my rift down straight away. Now that was where I made the mistake here. Now not that 
I ended up in like a ton of problems. I don't really... I shouldn't have done that. But luckily, it worked out okay. Now that wyvern's gone. I can use this. We've got two more wyverns. And I possibly shouldn't have used my... I shouldn't have used my rift. I don't end up, you know, it doesn't end up too bad. There's that wyvern gone. I've almost got my rift back. You really do have to be... This is where I made the problem mistake. See what I'm doing there? I'm using anarchy that I shouldn't be using because I... Because I thought I had tons of anarchy on the floor. And I, I didn't actually have a ton of anarchy on the floor. So you have to be mindful. I did have a box, but even with ammo finders, the boxes can be... I have, I've picked up boxes with double, which I have, double grenade ammo finder uh, scavenger and, and basically got three three bits of ammunition from the box, which really shouldn't be happening when you've got, when you've got double scavenger on. So I'm just trying to create more, which we have. Nearly got, nearly got my rift back. Now, I'm not wanting to really push, but I see I've got this. It's a barrier. Where is the chicken? So we'll just stick something on the boss. Get back up here. We need this chicken. I think he... I, 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 he, I remember when I was doing this, I thought he was up there. And we just see his tendrils just appear whenever he decides to appear. We don't... If the barrier is there... So, I've decided... Why not? Let's take a barrier out. And then I just noticed... That's... I almost died there. Luckily I had... Had my rift that done the same thing again, which almost... I almost paid for it there. Just be careful when you're putting your barrier down. Your, your rift down. Uh, I backed away up, and there's the wyvern gone now. I backed away up, and instead of putting the rift down, I I went up against the wall. So because the I don't know if it's because of the phoenix dive. Put another one on, and this should kill him. It didn't because the boss came. No. I could have just killed the boss. I had a real issue here getting the champions and the boss to separate. So now I'm like looking looking for ammo because I've got 16. Should be enough. But what I'm doing is I'm moving from side to side. So, and then I put them on him and couldn't actually do anything because the boss came. It's really difficult, but what... The whole way of thinking, see that I'm trying to get my health back, so I, the, whole, the whole train of thought is to get the boss to move into a position where he can't cover the champions, and that, that was really difficult. So I'm going to go over to this side and see, even if the boss comes, if I can get some angles. Now there's a champion. So we should be able to kill this one. There's one down. Now again, you've got to be careful because the boss does that massive void splash damage. There he is. And if he just gets a little look at you. So there's another champion. Put my rift down see if I can get... Oh, he's went away. It's just it's really annoying that those champions follow the boss about so kind of so much. There's another champion. There's another two. Hopefully they'll come round and 
But as per, there's the void, there's the boss. I didn't think the boss came all the way up here, but he does. He can't shoot at me, though. I don't think he can shoot at me. This is where all the time came, where I lost all the time on this run. Was because I could not separate the boss from the champions. If you were doing this as a grandmaster, what you would do is, you just you wouldn't bother about the champions. You would you would kill them at this point. As I say, just a ton of time wasted trying to get get them into position. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to drag the boss into positions, compromising positions for him, where it frees me up. I'm just making sure he comes around. It frees me up to take out a champion from the other side. Because I, I literally need... 10 seconds, 5 to 10 seconds uninterrupted to take down a champion. But as you can see, all the champions have went with him. So I'm just looking. They're too far away, really. Can I get them to come? Oh, yeah, that was good. But then, too, takes too long. Can't really, can't really damage them. So what I'm going to try and do now is... Get him to come round. I need him. I need him to come co all the way, so that so that I get enough time to damage a champion. I've got a grenade here. Put another one on him. Taking a chance here. There's another champion down. So. This is where all the time went in this run, just separating the champions. Ooh, separating the champions. Nice time for Mantle to, to, to thingy him. He never actually came around. What I should have done, just watching this run back, what I should have done is went all the way over. See, there's a champion up there. Stick him with an anarchy. Jumped over the other side. Couldn't get him. And then the boss came. This is where you want the champion. Right over here. Yep. Because he will come all the way down. He will come all the way down there. And that's what you want. Just a real hard time trying to separate the champions and the boss. Because literally the champion... Is, is, is right, right on him. I mean, he went right round with them. So I, I don't, I don't, I. It's it's really, really uh, frustrating that the bosses patrol pattern, that the champions' movements are linked to the boss. That's. I've been speaking with people quite recently, and this, uh, this, the, this whole kind of. See, he's actually just inside the shield. There's nothing I can do. This whole nightfall is kind of badly designed because you deal with very little void up to this point. Very little of anything that you have to deal with at the boss. And Master Nightfalls, GMs, they lock your load out. That is what you're, that is what you're talking about there. Managed to break his shield, put a grenade on. And I was hoping that would kill him. But he put his shield back up, so I went back round to see if I can... Got the two. Can't do anything. So frustrating, as you can see. It's really frustrating because of the way that the, the boss is kind of shielding the champion. Now, what I could have done, again, is just be extreme. I was trying, at this point, I could see the time going down. I was trying to speed it up. Now, unfortunately, if you activate one of them, you activate both of them. So you can't activate the champion to come to you and the boss hasn't seen you. The minute you activate the champion, the boss is going to come after you. So now I'm going all the way over to the other side. As you can see how long this has took. This has took an absolute age. There's there's the champion. 
and missed all my anarchy shots at a time where I could have actually I could have actually have uh, damaged them maybe and now it's can't do anything I can remember I can remember exactly how I felt at this point uh, so what we're looking for is something like this and now he's, he's fully regenerated I'm I'm at full tilt at this moment in time. So what I'm the only thing I've got left at my disposal is my super. So what we're going to try and do is get this this champion isolated. Bosses like targeting this area. We want to get him up here. Here he comes. Right up here, and then maybe we can go back round here. See where this champion is. Could not get him to move far enough away. The other, there he is. So now we've got him. So once he, once I break his shield, we'll just pop the super, and the super is strong enough to kill him. And this is how much damage the boss had. I just realised at this point, just put my well down, that I actually picked got heavy. And there's the boss. That's it. Just getting those champions to separate from the boss added I don't know how much time on. But uh, that's the run. Solo Platinum. That's how the, the biggest thing I feel like to deal with this is the chickens. And I hope I've showed a good way to deal with those. This this definitely would be a strategy you could use in the GMs. Uh, different composition. Maybe maybe stasis. A couple of barricaded titans. Even a hunter would do, you know be good here. Uh, but there you go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run, and I will see you guys in the next video.